Okay, welcome back to Engineering Made Easy. Today we're going to continue our discussion on numerical analysis methods for differential equations, um, talking about the backward Euler method. So the backward Euler method is another method for approximating the solution of a first order ordinary differential equation. And just to remind you what that equation looks like, right? We have y prime equals some function of t and y, like we talked about last time. So this could look like y prime equals 4 times y, um, 4 times y plus t. It could be a number of different things. Um, but generally, it's just the derivative of y with respect to t is equal to some function of y and t with an initial condition. So when we talk about the backward Euler method, this is very similar to the forward Euler method except the approximation of the first derivative term looks slightly different. So we're saying that dy dt equals y at some given time step minus y at the previous time step over delta t. If you remember with the forward Euler method, we used y of n plus 1 minus y of n. So here we're kind of taking our point and looking backwards to the previous point to determine the slope, if that makes sense. And then when we pr plug this approximation into our original ordinary differential equation, we get the following formula um, relating the first derivative approximation to whatever our function is for the given first order ODE. Now here what we've done is I basically changed the indexing notation. So for the sake of a uh, a numerical approximation that steps forward in time, we always want to be solving for y at n plus 1, like the next time step. So by changing our index notation from n and n minus 1, if we just add 1 to each of those, we get y of n plus 1 minus y sub n, but then our time and our y value on the right side have to also change by plus 1. So ultimately, we end up with the following formula, where y of n plus 1 equals y sub n plus delta t times the function at time n plus 1 and y of n plus 1. Now, this is called an implicit solution scheme because y sub n plus 1 appears both on the left side and the right side. And depending on your specific ODE, you may not be able to directly solve for y of n plus 1. You might have to use one of these equation solvers built into MATLAB like F0 or F solve, which we will demonstrate in the next video where we do an example of this method in MATLAB. The local error for this method is on the order of delta t squared, same as the forward Euler method. Um, and just like the forward Euler method, the error is proportional to our chosen time step. First order accurate method. And then this is what the, the two methods look like. So we've got the forward Euler on top there and the backward Euler on bottom. And what I want you to notice here is the difference in the indexing on our, our function, right? So for the forward Euler, we end up with a function where um, it's in terms of t sub n and y sub n. For the backward Euler, we end up with a function in terms of t sub n plus 1 and y sub n plus 1. So that's really the only difference here. Um, qualitatively, the forward Euler method tends to overshoot our exact solution, um, basically overestimate the slope, while the backward Euler method tends to undershoot. Um, we'll kind of see more what that looks like when we do our MATLAB example and compare the two methods. But main takeaways here, um, the backward Euler method is another method for approximating first order ordinary differential equations. It's an implicit scheme with the following formula. The local error is delta t squared accurate. Um, and if you have any questions about the method, um, applications, or how we arrived at this formula, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks.